Hello and welcome to my channel. This is season two, episode 12. First thing as always, thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. If you are new, names will go up over here. And thank you to those of you that have been following and supporting me on the forum. Recognition goes up over here. Now, I have one notification before I start. So this week I managed to sign up for a Battle Sim event which will be hosted at Red Alert, which will be on the 30th of May. Obviously, all the details will be on their webpage, so check it out if you're interested. I do believe that the NATO side, whatever they're called, are fully booked, and the Russian side, whichever they are called, is almost full, so there's a few spaces, so just bear that in mind. Fingers crossed, hopefully, the event will go ahead as normal. And yeah, that's it, so let's get into this video. Now, for those of you that have been playing for a long time, you know this, but for those of you that are considering getting into Airsoft or a beginner, you need one important item before you can even think about playing airsoft. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. You need this one important item, eye protection. to airsoft you cannot play without eye protection that is a fact that is a rule so accept it don't even try bending or breaking the rules or using airsoft rifts without eye protection because you give us a bad name and you could end up losing an eye or two and then you're in a different world completely so don't even go there now for beginners or those of you that have been going down your airsoft path and sadly due to COVID-19 haven't been able to complete that path yet so What's going to happen in this video is I'm going to cover two of the items that you've seen. One was a mesh material and the other was a high impact polymer. Now, again, it's preference on what you choose. There's a lot of brands and makes out there. Make sure you get a good one with your budget. Okay, don't skimp out on eye protection. That's the most important thing for playing airsoft. Okay, you can get everything else, but without eye protection, forget it. Now, what I want to do is mention this. For beginners, when you start off, okay, you don't need to get eye protection straight away, okay? Rent from the site you're going to, okay, because it will cover everything from the riff to the face protection. Now, in the UK, if you're under the age of 18, you have to wear full face protection. I don't know. Again, it depends on sites and rules. They may vary it depending, but I'm pretty sure that there's no given exception for that okay you have to wear full face protection if you're over the age of 18 you can wear whatever you want whether it's just eye protection bits and pieces so i'll cover a few things as best as i can all right now i have mentioned in previous videos if you haven't seen them check them out i have mentioned about possibly getting a bdu anything additional knee pads um etc etc if you know 100 percent that you're going to be getting into airsoft so highly recommend that as well other than that Let's get started off with my first item. Now, I've had this for a number of years. As you can see, this has been worn and torn. It's actually broken the strap, okay? If you look carefully, I think it's just a case of it simply just snapped over time. I could easily stitch that or super glue it, but there's a reason why I didn't carry on with these. Now, if you've seen the picture at the end of my videos, all my videos, these are the famous mesh goggles that you see with my picture. Now, I bought these from an airsoft shop, I think from 10 quid up to in 20 quid, maybe in between, okay? So these weren't too expensive, and like all things, I have been hit in the face, obviously across the eyes, and these did a great job protecting me. If you look carefully here, there is a dent, so that was probably from a DMR or sniper, so yeah, did the job, and... If I turn it around, you can see, obviously, this has fallen off, worn over time. And if I point just here, you should see the dent. That's from the DMR sniper. Now, these to me are pretty much surplus, pretty much looking to be phased out. Um, these have been used for a long time. And you'll notice this with certain sites in the UK. It may vary in other parts of the world. These are being replaced with high-impact polymer, okay? So what's interesting is the fact that 
You still see a few of the players use these. Um, there's a variety of these. Now, these are my ones. If I put a picture up here, you'll see like a skinnier version of these ones. And if I put a picture up here, you'll see a full face mesh type. Well, it's not full face, but anyway, this particular one, stay away from. From my own personal experience, when I started off in Airsoft renting with one of these masks, they do the job, but they are horrible, especially depending on how your facial structure is. So naturally, there may be a bit of a gap down your jawline, really close up to your eyes, the uh, mesh lens. So if you do get hit, it can obviously sometimes irritate your eye a little bit, depending. And I did have that issue once, thankfully. I didn't take my mask off, thankfully. But what's also nasty about them is they're just very cheap plastic, which is horrible. And I've got a scar on my nose. I don't know if it's still there. I'll have to check it out. Um, from the hot day and obviously the friction wearing on my nose. So I had a nasty little cut and scar from that for quite some time. And above all, it didn't have any ear protection because again, being a beginner, you see a lot of things on YouTube and not all of it's bad though. Um, but you have seen people get hit in the ears and everything and I thought, man, that's not great. I want extra safety for what I paid for my rental. I should be getting something good. So mesh is starting to be phased out from most sites in the UK now and if they're not, they should be, personally, in my opinion, because they're outdated. I mean, I'm pretty sure with the uh, payment of rentals and people and membership, they can't afford it. So, hint, hint. But anyway, um, these things can work, obviously, in hot, cold weather. Um, you don't have to worry about it fogging up. Um, obviously, you've got to worry about rust, dents, that sort of thing. And eventually, you do have to replace these. But a few years ago, at a site, not my favourite site, there was a word of mouth circulation going around that a certain brand, um, if you know this, please put your answer in the comments down below. There was a certain brand of BBs across the UK that were defective or whatever the reason, and they would shatter if they would hit mesh and obviously penetrate through, which wasn't great. So that was being spread across the UK about this certain company, about how dodgy their BBs were. So yeah, um, when I heard this, I was concerned. I was still using mesh and I did continue to use this until it actually broke. And I was always more cautious, thankfully being fast and dodging. It was very rare I got hit in the face anyway, so that was a blessing. Um, whatever happens though, again, it's preference. I would tend to say, if a site is still using this, or you see a few players, players, yeah, preference, um, sites, come on, upgrade. Do what you have to. Again, it's your preference, your choice, but I would say stay away from these. These are just outdated surplus, phase them out. And you can wear these with some lower face protection, okay? Again, famous picture. Um, what I did notice is, you may think, oh, there's a gap there for you to hit on the side here where the cheekbones are. No, um, when I had this on properly, I was fully protected, so nothing got through, so just bear that in mind. But no, it served well for me, thankfully, no injuries or anything of that description, but you got to know when to move on to better things. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I moved on to these, and you've seen these a lot in my videos. So already comes with a strap here. So obviously these won't slip off, which is fantastic. You can get these in tinted yellow or any other color option that you want. I personally would go with clear, simple reason, you see everything. If you've got tinted yellows, I have heard people, friends say it's horrible. Again, preference. I've got the details here. Okay, so I will read it out quickly. So, Nuprol PMC, protective eyewear, generation two. Anti-scratch, check. Anti-fog, check. So you can use these in the summer or winter again without fogging up. Headband, check. UV 400 protection, I'll go with that. P90 
protective sleeve, I'll go with that. Optical insert ready, I'll go with that as well. So I bought these from High Wickham, so from an airsoft site, and the main story was, I think on the day, if I remember correctly, I turned up on the site, I was trying to put these on and it just snapped, and I was like, great, I haven't got anything spare, so I went straight to their shop, got these for like 10, 20 quid, somewhere in between maybe. It came with this as well, and a white cloth, which I've got somewhere around here. And ever since then, I've used these. These have been great, okay? No worries whatsoever. Now, with the mesh, obviously you could wear a boonie like you see in my picture. You could possibly wear other things, but remember, if you look from here, these are quite bulky. These are slim, so you could wear a boonie hat, baseball cap, a headband like you've seen in my other videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. So what's great about these is you're probably thinking, oh, there's a gap there on the side. There's a gap. Can a BB get through? The chances of that happening, none at all. I like to say none at all, but since I've worn these, I've had no problems. I've been literally full auto sprayed across from close up, across the entire lens here, and literally they just bounced off, no scratching, no impact, no indentations whatsoever, and just carried on playing a fun game. I would say as well, if you've got one of these, probably this one, this is all you need to play airsoft, just a bit of eye protection. However, like I said, if you want your teeth shot out at a bad site, you've got a big dentist bill to play, so don't do that. I highly recommend you get yourself some low face protection, okay? What's good about this is it's got padding, but you can see that on the inside, so it's nice and comfortable on your face. This has also got ear protection. I highly recommend ear protection. The chance of you getting hit in the ear, again, are slim, but if you get hit in the ear, chances are being very sensitive, it will hurt. And if you've seen footage on YouTube, which you probably have from America and all that with their high FPS countries compared to us, you see BBs get lodged in the face, the ear, teeth, just completely gone. So yeah, I'd highly invest in one of these, especially with ear protection. You can thank me later. But anyway, you can wear whatever you want to with these ones particularly, especially on the top head. Bandana, boonie, baseball cap. So I can highly recommend these 100% from this company here. Now I did buy this from the site. So what's interesting as well, okay, I'm gonna put these down here actually. There is one other option. Now, like I said, as a beginner, you can get full face protection and some people might afterwards go, you know what, I want full face protection. So what you're gonna see in front of you right now is a picture, yes, and I do thank Cronky, it's got his name in the picture as well. And I've got some info from him. I asked him what was your own opinion on it and your experience on it, so what I'm essentially gonna do is put some writing in front of you, and this is what he sent me for his review, I suppose really, if you call it that. So you can read that for a bit. Again, you might want to pause it at certain points as well because I am moving on. But no, full face protection is great. Um, obviously, you've got your ears covered. You can buy as well, from what I've been told by him, a top layer, so kind of like a paintball helmet, I suppose, where you put a top layer on top. So it gives like a little bit of a visor to protect you from the sun, but you have to purchase that separately. It came fully assembled, which was fantastic, so you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, you can adjust the straps. It's got ear protection, which is fantastic. He has said, as much as it's a pro, there's one major con with it. If you're trying to look down at your pouches, wherever they are on you, whether it's your chest wig or on your legs, it can hinder your vision, so you can't actually see properly, so you may have to feel around and get your magazines out or put your magazines away, etc., etc. So, it is not a slim thing, it's actually quite chunky, but at the end of the day, it's gonna protect your whole face so you don't need to worry about it. He has told me he has used it in the hot weather, the cold weather, and again, anti-fog, so you don't need to worry about it, so you can run around as much as you want. So, these three options, out of all of them, I'd say, 
Mesh comes in last place third. For me, personally, uh, it's a tough one for second and first place. For me, second place goes for full face because you've got, like I said, that one con of looking around. First place, I have to give it, where are they? To these, okay? They're slim, easy enough to carry, obviously look after, and like all things, you have more options with this particular model. Simply, like I said before, you've got hat options, you've got face protection options. So, yeah, 100% go with these particular goggles. And honestly, I just wanted to give that for beginners, as well as anyone that's thinking of getting their eye protection, always, always check where the product is being made, what the description says, because you never know. There's a lot of copies and clones out there, so just bear that in mind. Other than that, that's it for this video. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know when the next video is. I enjoyed making this video. I look forward to making the next video. The most important thing you can do is stay safe.